Hello, my dear friends. Every single day working with my clients, I'm getting asked questions. So I decided to make a thing out of it and start answering those questions with these YouTube videos. Sometimes there's going to be some simple questions. Sometimes there's going to be complicated ones. But what combines them together and what unites them is the fact that a lot of those questions are not being asked by the buyers or by the sellers because people think that those are not a good questions. People sometimes are afraid to ask those questions. So I want to just burst this myth and start answering those questions for you guys so you could have the answers to them even without contacting anybody. Anyway, the first question that I'm going to answer is how long does it take for the seller to come back and respond to your purchase offer? property that you really like. You decided on a purchase price, on the conditions that you're going to put an offer. You presented an offer to the listing agent through your agent. So what's next? How long would it take for the seller to respond to your offer? That's a great question and it's a nerve-wracking question that you need to know because you love this property and you want to get it. So how long does it take for the seller to respond? And the answer to that is it depends. I have had occasions in my practice when seller would respond to your purchase offer within 15 minutes and sometimes it would take seller somewhere close to six months to get to an agreement with you as a buyer. So how can you shorten this time and uh, how much time should you give a seller to respond to your offer? If you would look at the blank copy of a purchase contract, that suggests you that the seller will have three days in order to respond to your purchase offer. Now, this time could be either extended or shortened. And let's think about the times when you would need to shorten it or the times when you would need to give the seller a little bit more time to think about it. Let's say your offer is very compelling and you know that you are competing against many other buyers within this price range. That might be in your interest to shorten the time frame that you are allowing the seller to respond to your offer. I'm not a bully, but in my practice, a lot of the times I'm being pretty aggressive, giving the seller only 24 hours to respond to the offer that I'm presenting on behalf of my buyer. So why do I do that? Well, the answer to that is very simple. It's a very competitive market. And if my offer is a competitive offer, I do not want to compete against other people. And uh, the way to do it is to give the seller a chance to understand that my client is only interested in purchasing this property in the next 24 hours. After that, my client will move on and purchase some other property. If the seller really understands that I'm not joking around and my client will move on, the seller will be pushed to be making decision right then and there, which is in your interest. There were the times in my practice when the offer that I presented to the seller was valid for the three months or even more. That was at the occasion when me and my client were lowballing somebody else, but we were still able to secure the property significantly below asking price. But in that particular case, our offer stood true for a significant amount of time. So that could be something that you could use if you are trying to get the property that might not be one of the common properties, that could be one of the unique properties that there's not that many buyers for. Even though your contract could be suggesting that the offer only stands for three days or so, if your buyer is still interested in that property, you could let the listing agent know verbally that your offer still stands true. In the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how long does it take for the seller to respond to your offer. What matters is the result. And the result should be the acceptance of the offer that you have presented. The rest are the details that I would take care of. Let's just talk about your particular situation and decide what is it that's gonna make your offer stand out and uh, put the seller in a position to jump on a phone with the listing agent and sign that purchase offer right then and there.